The 10th edition card packs are going up for pre-order on Saturday, and I really like the concept of having cards with all your information on them, but I don't want to spend money on a set of cards where I won't need over half of them. So I'm going to make my own and show you how to do it. This is a free way to make your own data sheets, and this does work for other games like Kill Team as well. What you'll need besides your computer is just access to a printer, some scissors, card sleeves like what you use for Magic the Gathering, and some playing cards or cut out pieces of cardboard. Like if you have some Ezra Warhammer packages laying around, you can cut those up, just make them 3.5 by 2.5 inches. The way I'm going to be doing this primarily is with Canva. If you don't know what that is, it's just a graphical design tool you can find online. So once we're on Canva, we'll want to create a worksheet that's the same size as the printer paper we're using. We want to make our data sheets 3.5 wide and 2.5 tall. So go to Elements and find a rectangle. Then set the inside to either be white or whatever color you want to use for a backdrop, and set the border weight as something like 3 or 4. Then if you click these edges and drag them, you can see how tall and wide the shape is. This will be the outline you're using for all of these, so you can go ahead and copy and paste this outline multiple times. Basically, get as many as you need or as many as you can fit on one page. And I would leave a little bit of room from the outside edge, just in case your printer cuts it off a little bit. For an example, I'll be using an Orc Boy. All you'll need to do is find the digital version of your data sheets online. They have them all on Warhammer Community's website, you just might need to hunt for it a little bit. Once you find the one for your army, I recommend downloading it so you have it on your computer. Once you found the profile you want, just use a snipping tool to outline it. If you search snip on your computer, it should show up. I think it's a default program. If not, there should be one free to download. You should only need the front page for most of your profiles. If you want to use a clear card sleeve, you could make it double-sided. I don't think there's normally a need to, but it's something you can do. Now save the screenshots of your profiles all in one place and go back to Canva. Now you'll want to go to Upload and find those pictures. Then simply click on them to make them show up and drag them into the card-shaped outlines we made before. If you line up one of the corners, you can take the opposite corner and drag it so it lines up within that outline. Just do this for each profile. A neat thing with Canva is a lot of stuff basically snaps into place, so it makes it pretty easy to use. So a nice thing with this method is you only have to make ones for minis you actually own, or data sheets that are relevant to your army or kill team. You don't have to make it for every single option you have in your army, when you really only need 8 or 9. Also if you want to, you could do the same things with your stratagems or your army rules. If your army rules are too large and don't line up very well or are so small you can't read them, you can just make a test boss and type them out making it fit within the outline by messing with the shape and the font size. And like with the models, if there's stratagems that just aren't relevant to you, you don't need to make them. If you're playing Nurgle Demons and there's a Zeech-based ability, you can just leave that one out so you don't have as much to go through during a match. And kind of a final adjustment here, if you have an enhancement or something else buffing your cards, you can kind of move your shapes around so you have a blank space and type that in. So you're typing it in within the outline. For example, with an enhancement, you don't want to forget you have it if it's giving you a significant buff like an invul save, so you can just put that on the bottom of the card. Now that we have everything ready, just save the file. I would save it like a PDF, because if you do it as pictures, it'll try to save it as a zip file, and that can be annoying to try to extract them all. Then once they're saved, go ahead and print them out. Now assuming we did everything correctly, they should be the same size as a playing card. So cut them out along the outlines. Then in your trading card sleeves, Put an actual card, like if you play Magically Gathering, use a land, or if you have an extra set of poker cards, use one of them. Or you, like I said, you can use cardboard if you have something like you cut up a Warhammer boss. So you'll do that so you have a stable backing, and then you put your Warhammer data sheet into it. These should have the same feel of a normal playing card, and they fit into a playing card case, which is nice if you want to carry them around. Obviously you can add background colors or customize these any way you want, I just wanted to do something really simple here, but I think this is most of the functionality of the cards you can actually buy on Saturday, and it's basically free if you have this stuff sitting around. So let me know if you end up doing this for yourself or if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.